This week, we hear from Paul in the 17th chapter of the book of Acts. Now, Paul is in Athens, and he's talking to a group of Greeks who, who have not heard of Jewish or Christian traditions. But Paul does know that they are religious. And he, he mentions how, as he's walked around the city, he's, he's seen their objects of worship. And then he hones in on this one particular altar that has an inscription on it that reads, To an unknown God. Now, Paul takes this opportunity to tell the people that what they worship as unknown is actually the one true God, who is the creator, the maker of everything in heaven and on earth, and that this God doesn't live in shrines or in anything that is made by human hands. Well, then Paul goes on in some of my favorite verses in this reading for this coming Sunday, verses 26 and 27, and he talks about, about the search for God. And I love how Eugene Peterson begins his translation in the message version of scripture. He talks about from scratch, God made humankind and God made the earth with plenty of time and space for us to live in it. And God made these things so that we would search for God and not just grope around in the dark, but actually find God. You see, Paul tells us that God does not play hide and seek with us. No, God is not far away. In fact, God is near. And God is not some, some human created thing like, like silver or gold or stone, like a stone statue. No, God is not a what. God is a who. And this who is the creator. This who is Christ. This who is the spirit in whom we move and breathe and have our being. The great advocate whom God has sent to us. So I wonder, where in your life have you sought and found God? I look forward to seeing you in worship. 